Hi friends! Today is Monday. Oh my gosh. It's been two weeks and like two days since I got back to Arizona and uh, I, still have, I still haven't left the house. Sorry, I got a little out of breath there. I still have not left the house and I'm not sure how I feel. For the first couple of days I was okay. And then for the last stretch of like last week, I was having issues with staying in and not just life not being normal and it was all getting to me. And then the stress of school is ending soon. So I've got all other major projects due and it was just all building up. And I was like, literally had a mental breakdown and cried. So, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm better now. I'm just kind of like bleh, which I feel like is normal for, <laughs> for the fact that everyone is cooped up in their houses and going crazy and yeah it's, it's interesting um my mom is totally fine with this she's been working from home for a while now and not really leaving the house not really doing much and she's totally okay with it she's extremely introverted and like this is her stuff like she's not leaving she's not going anywhere and she's totally fine with it my dad and i are both getting a little stir crazy and he's going to work every day because he works by himself so he doesn't have to interact with anyone but i have school and stuff and nowhere else that i need to go so i haven't left the house i do get out every day and i go for about a 40 minute walk so that's, it's a nice it's a breath of fresh air, it's being away from the house, being out, even for just 40 minutes, it's very peaceful. So that's nice. Um, it is very windy, it has been very windy the last couple of days, and yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I actually got a sunburn on my face um, during the walk, and I, I think I was going to say something else, but I forgot. And so that was fun. That was interesting. My face was really red. I didn't even realize that I had a sunburn until my dad asked why my face was all red. It turns out that I got a sunburn. So I wore a hat today to try and combat the sun. But it should be getting warmer pretty soon. The, um, the trees are budding. And they don't, the mesquite trees, that's what they're called. Mesquite trees, they're, they're starting to bud and they don't typically, they don't start to bud until the, like, the freezes are over and stuff. So I don't know how they tell that, but they do. So it should be warming up. Which means more sunscreen. <laughs> Possibly shorter walks, but I really don't want to take shorter walks. Because I like fresh air and exercise, so... Other than that, school is still driving me nuts. I still have a lot of homework to do, but it's like not a lot, but it feels like a lot just because on paper it's a lot. But if I take it piece by piece every day, then I know I'll be fine. But I struggle to take it piece by piece every day because it's homework and it's not the most fun thing in the world. But Ugh. and then hopefully camp repping is happening. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm so, we're still unsure if camps are actually going to operate at this point. They say they are, but if they're not, then I'm just going to be doing administration and ad admin work <laughs> at BBC, which I'm totally fine with because I actually really like secretarial work. So either way. And if camps do happen, then there's the whole fact that I'm going to be gallivanting around the United States with someone else, just the two of us, driving <laughs> everywhere, and that's kind of stressful. So I'm trying to not think about it too much, because when I do think about it too much, it like seriously stresses me out, and then I don't focus on anything but that. Ugh, so. I am in a good mood today, but I'm still also 
in the back of my mind very stressed in general which I'm pretty sure everyone is just because it's a stressful time and I'm definitely holding on to the hope well the knowledge and hope of everything getting back to normal and just how lovely it's going to be to get back to normal and to not have to stay in your house and to be able to go to the grocery store without fear or to be able to hang out with your friends without fear or you know worrying about some crazy disease that's ravaging the whole world which is just crazy to think about but I've been taking a lot of like deep breaths because <laughs> talking about things that stress me out kind of stresses me out so but it's a good it's a good thing but ah uh, let's see I told you about meeting uh about petting a horse the other day I know um the day after I was it the day after that I think the day after that I pet the horse, there was another house that has two dogs. It's a Yorkie and a bigger dog. And I've met the bigger dog before and I know that she's not mean or anything. She's just big and she barks. And I walked by that house and there was a little boy playing outside. And the Yorkie was in the front yard and came over. The front yard's not gated. It came over and was barking at my dog in a you know just kind of in a hey who are you and why are you here kind of way not in a mean way at all and so I was like saying hello to the Yorkie and then the other dog came out of the backyard because the fence was open and she was barking and I turned around just to say hello and she kind of like backed off like whoa wait uh, eh, I'm not mean and so, <laughs> so that was the thing and then as soon as she comes out the little two-year-old three-year-old comes out and he tells me his name and he's like, I'm three. And I was like, well, uh, it's nice to meet you. You should probably go back into your yard now. <laughs> he's like, okay, bye. And then he ran off and checked the mail and then went back into the backyard. <laughs> it was really cute. So we keep walking and the bigger dog is still out and walking probably like a y two yards away from us. And, uh, walking and kind of barking but like not not like big barking but kind of like almost in a talking kind of way where it's 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 like low communication growls and not like angry growls just kind of like making a noise I don't know how to explain it <laughs> but so we kept walking and we passed this line of trees and it's still this same yard and there's the chicken coop and there was a man in the chicken coop doing the thing and he waved and I waved and then he realized that his dog was in the front yard and he just said what are you doing in the front yard silly come on back and it was really cute I was like oh that's adorable but and then we went on our walk went on our way nothing nothing really interesting happened today um once somebody was leaving his yard and he waved and I waved and somebody was mowing the grass. <laughs> so, you know, typical things. We'll wave at people, don't talk to people because, you know, social distancing and also because I don't really know them very well. But yeah, so it's been, it's nice to just cling on to those moments of outdoor while I'm stuck inside all day. <laughs> I, I did homework, I went into my mom's office and sat with her and did homework because I was tired of being in my room. I did homework outside the other day because I was tired of being in my room. So I'm starting to get very inventive of like where I'm doing my homework and what I'm doing in between homework and stuff. I'm just trying to fill my day with productive things so that I don't get bored and because when I get bored then I just start to like go off into my thoughts and when I'm stressed and unhappy with the way things are because I'm stuck inside um, my thoughts can be kind of dangerous because you know I think about the future or I lament about the fact that things are not different and so I'm trying to keep myself busy so that the day will be shorter and also so that I don't 
stress myself out more than I already am stressed out. But <laughs> it's an interesting balance and I'm still working on it and I'm sure I will be working on it for a long time because I'm human. I don't know what to tell you. But I think that's all I have for today. I love you guys. I will see you guys later. Sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I feel like I apologize in every video because I miss days. I'm sorry. But I'm trying to upload more. I put it on my daily schedule. We're, we're working. It's, it's a work in progress. <laughs> but remember, we can do this. Be safe. Be smart. Stay home. Wash your hands. Don't be gross. We'll survive. Love you. Bye.